For our ingredients, we may need 1 and 1 half cups diced carrots 1 can of tomato 2 tablespoon tomato paste 1 large diced onion 1 and 1 half cups sliced celery and 4 cloves minced garlic We may also need 2 pieces of lamb chunks 500 milliliter of beef broth You can also use chicken broth 500 milliliter of red wine 1 tablespoon of fresh rosemary You can also use dried rosemary 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of black pepper and 3 pieces of bay leaves Add some salt and pepper into the lamb shanks and rub it all over the lamb Season the lamb generously all over the lamb Turn and do the same again Leave it for 15 to 20 minutes to absorb the salt and pepper. Into a medium high heat casserole or pot, add 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Add the lamb into the pot. Now we are going to sear the lamb. Make sure that you're going to sear each side. Once seared, take the lamp and set aside. In the same pot, add the onion, add the celery, add the carrots, saute it until all the vegetables are fully cooked. Once the vegetables are fully cooked and caramelized, add the minced garlic, add the bay leaves, add the rosemary, Add the tomato paste. Cook the tomato paste to take the acidity for about one minute. Add the one can of tomato. Cook it for another 1 to 2 minutes. Add the 500 ml of red wine. Bring the red wine into a boil and reduce it for 5 to 10 minutes. Let's add the lamb shanks. Add the beef broth or chicken broth.
Bring it to a boil for 15 minutes. Take those bubbles or scum. Add some salt and pepper for taste. Cook it on low for about two to three hours or braise it for about two to three hours into a preheated oven 160 degrees after three hours take the meat and set aside Pour the sauce into a sieve. Use the spatula to press the sauce down. Now, we are going to thicken the sauce into a high heat pan until the sauce thickens up. Once the sauce had thickened up, turn the heat off and remove it from the hob. Now pour over that rich and glossy sauce.